there's way more of these. Good morning and welcome to A1 Vacuum and Sewing's live stream for Thursday, April 11th. I've said it like how many times, but it's like I got up this morning and I was like, how did it get to be? Wasn't it just Thursday yesterday? <laughs> I, I met with my accountant yesterday and was doing my taxes and and he was just talking about how miserable he was during tax season. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like that's my life all the time. Patrick! <laughs> Not miserable, but just like he was just talking about how it's like it's groundhog, groundhog Day. Balls to the wall, just and after. We're like, we're like that all the time. Um... And then people call and they're like, I didn't want to call you because you guys are so busy all the time. It's because we're complaining about it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, so sorry. Two and two. One. All right. Let's talk about a couple of things. You're adding that to feed. Has it been fine? We have not had a single drop frame and, since and we stopped been, dual casting. Uh, but to you're, Facebook. what are you doing? You're just adding the link. I'm just adding the, the link to Facebook. Uh, Got it. So let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, I've had a lot of people, and I think we talked about it yesterday, but not in detail. I've had a lot of people reach out about. Can you grab me the sample? Because it is so cute. Where is it? It's up on the wall. Make over it mini. Here? I, yeah. Over there. Make it mini. Do you know which one that is? I don't. It's the. A little quilt. The oh, little four pack. Yeah, and yeah. maybe uh, the IQ designer. Can you grab that one, Michelle? Yes. The butter. The butter. I got the butter. Which is going to be an amazing class. Um, it is number one, and you don't have to do two parts. Michelle broke it into two parts. The first part is going to be um, the scan and cut. So, I mean, a lot of people buy scan and cut because they want to cut fabric with it. And what makes it so fantastic, the cutting of fabric on the scan and cut, is that you can cut any, any shape, any size. Um, you don't have to buy die cutters for, and, and you know, I know a lot of people have AccuQuilt. It's, they're different. You know, one's gonna be better, uh, you, they're just different. And Maybe so sometimes down. you might want to use your AccuQuilt and sometimes you might want to use your Scan and Cut. But Michelle's going to be walking you through cutting these pieces on but the Scan But you need and a cut. Scan and Cut. But you need a Scan and Cut. So she's going to walk you through the cutting of this. And then you're going to be, um, I are they doing all the piecing on their own? Yes. You're doing all the piecing on your own. But she prepared a video where she puts together a block so you can see a section. Um, so you can stitch with her and then you'll, you know, then you'll finish up the rest. The other things that are going to be amazing about this class is you're going to be an IQ designer. The actual sample never got put away, so this is the only one I can find. I don't know where the other one is. It okay. Was in the bag. Okay. So, um... Uh, so all of this stuff that you see, all the embroidery here, like the little, that little honeycomb, the little flower. I, I can't see. I need this. I, you, you, you can't can see it. even with them on. <laughs> I was like, I was telling Patrick that, you know, we're going to, our anniversary is coming up. And I'm sure I'm going to forget it. So I'm going to say happy anniversary right now. What day is our anniversary? <laughs> Do not test me. I know the day of our anniversary. She's thinking about it, right? Now. Am, She's like, what day is it? I'm not thinking about it. And you know what? I have nothing to prove to him because I know it. Um, so we were talking last night and I was like, I need to go first. Like someday, I'm the one that has to go first. Can you believe why would you wish that on me? He'll be fine without me. He'll be, he'll totally be fine without me. He might be a little sad for a little while, but he can survive. Because he can do all the things in life that need to be done. Can I do your glasses and while no, you're... No, no, because I'm, we need to talk about this. And um, so, but I'm going to be... You guys know I'm helpless. I'm helpless. 
So I need to be the one that goes first. I was like, Patrick, if you go first, then I'm just for the rest of my life, I'm going to be walking around with dirty glasses. <laughs> I'm like, you, I got to go first. Okay, so back to this. So um, all of the things that you see on here, like that little bumblebee and the flower and the beehive, that is, this book is hand stitching. The Make It Mini book has hand stitching pattern patterns, but you're going to be taking all of that into IQ Designer with Michelle, and she's going to be showing you how to assign line properties, how to do the fills, how to do all of that fun stuff that you can do on your machine. And those machines that can do that are, again, going to be the Solaris, the Luminaire, the Dream Machine, the Destiny, the Stellar, the Altair. So it's the machines that have the built-in camera, the Baby Lock, and the Brother machines, and it's also going to be the machines that have the positioning app. Um, because it has like something that you can use that's kind of like a scanner. If you don't have that, if you have one of the other brands, we do a lot of these classes and if what you see looks like fun, maybe consider Next Machine getting a Baby Lock or a Brother. And the Brother, the great thing about the Brother machines now at this point too is like we've talked about they're building that whole, you know, what do you it's call it? It's the brother universe. The yes. brother my connection universe. With the integration and, and, you know, just food for thought when you do decide to get that next machine. Um, and we're going to have some great deals on the, the Luminaire. Yes. Some really good deals. So if you've been thinking about it, um, we can't ship those machines, but we've had, we do we like. We do the concierge service, which yeah. is great. Yes. And if you know somebody in Reno, they can come buy the machine for you and send it to you. All right. So um, so that's going to be one of the amazing things about this class. Another great thing. Michelle, you're doing the quilting, right? Is that part yeah. of it? Okay. So this, this is more about, not about piecing. It's about design center. Yeah. It's not a piecing class because you're not even doing that piecing in the class. You're going to be doing that on your own. You, there's a video though. Michelle did a prep video for you. This class, like Michelle said, is really more about Design Center and IQ Designer. And that quilting that she did here, that's a <coughs> built-in design, right? It's one of the built fills. It's, it's one, one of the built-in fills. But something she did with it, which I think is so amazing, is she flips it and then she shows you how to connect it so it's pretty seamless. Is Not that perfect, is there perfect. a reason that you have immunotherapy at 930 on your calendar? I'm at one. I'm You're definitely at one. at one. Okay. Yeah. I have a doctor's appointment today, so I'll be out this afternoon. Why would you put it on <laughs> at 930 to freak me out? No, I'm freaked out too. It's at one. Right. So um, how cool is that? Because uh, because the um, the fills don't connect seamlessly. But Michelle's going to show you how to do it. How so to it's fake it. how to fake it. Like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to fake it. So I'm excited to see how she does that. So those are some fantastic things about the class. Now, there's a lot of people who wanted to sign up for the class that weren't able to get in the class. And we're not doing more sessions because it's, like, exhausting to, like, just do the same <laughs> class over and over and over again. Um uh, however, what she's going to do is she's going to take, uh, she's going to do the scan and cut and she's going to do the make it mini. Um, and then she's going to, once we're done with that, she'll pull the class, like one of each of them. And those will go up where you can purchase that class and you can still purchase the kit. So you'll have all the stuff that you'll need, but it's going to be after. So she'll, she'll do both of those. So nobody's going to miss out. You're going to be able to, um, to purchase the class afterwards, the recording of the class. And then you can, some of, for some of you, that's like, you like that better. You can work through it at your leisure. You can, and, and if you are in the live classes, of course you get the recording of the class. So just wanted to let you know why you want to take the class, why you want to have a machine that has IQ Designer and Design Center. And um, if you didn't in the, get into the class, that you're still going to be able to do the class, get the kit, and uh, work through it at your leisure after the fact. So y those won't be available until probably May after we finish the class, but we'll make it available for you. I answered all of that, right? I wasn't paying attention. I zoned out over here. God. Oh my God. <laughs> this morning, 
I, Can I do your glasses while you yeah. talk nonsense? <laughs> this morning, I was so <laughs> tired because I worked really late on Tuesday night. And, like, I can't, I, get, I don't bounce back like I used to. Remember when you were, like, I remember being in my 20s and we would go out and party all night. And then, like, get a couple hours sleep and then go to work. I, like, listen to our kids talk about the fact that, like, they stay out until 1.00. And then they have to get up early to go skiing in Utah. And in my mind, I'm like, we used to party till like four. Yeah. And sleep until like, uh -huh. sleep for we like two so hours and then go ski all day. Or work all day. We were hardcore. But <laughs> One um, of the guys who used to work here uh, was a buddy of mine. And he was always like, dude, he's like, I don't know how you used to do it. Like. You always showed up. Patrick has a lot of work. energy. So, um, but now that I'm older, I can't do that. Like, if I'm up really late one night, it kind of destroys me for, like, a couple of days. So this morning, um, I couldn't, Patrick's like, if you let the dogs out, then I'll feed them, and I'll go down and take care of them. So I was like, I got up, let the dogs out, came back, got into bed, and slept. And then I woke up, and I was like, I need to, because I'm still working on getting through your emails. If you have emailed me and you never got a response and you're feeling unloved, I kind of have a little hole there that I haven't because I, I do I because I know where the where my newest emails are, so I keep just working from like the top down, the top down. So um, don't think that I don't love you and I'm ignoring you. Just send me another email and then it'll be at the top and you'll get addressed right away. And and she'll get to it. I just went through the store email and caught up on the store email. Store email is the most neglected email. Uh, so if you're emailing us from the from our website, that's the, the one that... The website emails come to me. Oh, they do? So what's the A1? The, that's that one that I go and I answer. That's the that's like the listed email at the bottom. But like if they, yeah, that's if what they, I answer. Yeah, no, well, but but like if they actually send an email through the website... Like if they don't if they don't hit that email and like send it to the I'm confused. A1 what what am I so. answering when I do yeah, the, the store the store email? But like if they actually send if they do like a contact form or they send an on? email through their order or if they reply to an order confirmation. Oh, that's the, it. Actually, comes that's to the, me. That's the shopping site. Yeah. Not the not the email. Okay, so um, I finally went through all those and like one of them was from like seven days ago. So, oopsie. <laughs> uh, it's a lot. Yeah, there's there's a lot because I try to, like, you know, pay attention and answer all that stuff. Okay, the you other. You forgot to tell them how mad you were your coffee wasn't there. That's why you started the whole I got thing. Up, I got up and I was like, I was like, oh, my God, I got to answer more emails. So then I, like, start answering my, like, oh, my God, I need coffee. And so. I glanced over <laughs> to where my coffee should have been because Patrick get, he makes it and then he brings it in. And he puts it, you make me sound like <laughs> such a simp. He brings it in <laughs> quietly and not to, as to not disturb, puts it on my nightstand. So I'm answering my email thinking, oh my God, I need coffee. And I glance over. Nothing. It was made. It wasn't brought to me. Well, but you were so passed out, like the dog so... would drink the email, would drink the email. The dog would drink the coffee. Yeah. And I was like. It wasn't there. I was, I was mad. I wasn't mad. I was like, what? Where's my coffee? I had to go downstairs and be like, um, excuse me. Because I, I just looked, I looked over, I was like, and there was nothing. <laughs> Neglected. That would be nice, right? To wake up every morning to coffee on your nightstand. I understand. You know, I, and like when we went to Salt Lake, I can't help but complain too. He got me a coffee and it was a mocha, which was fine. It was too sweet. I only like Patrick's coffee because Patrick makes it exactly like I want it. And I'm like, I shouldn't say anything. And I just couldn't help myself. I was like, it's a little sweet. I was drinking it going, 
Jeannie, just appreciate that he got you. We went, we were together. We walked and went to the coffee place and I sat outside with the dogs and then he went and got the coffee. And, um, yeah, it was too. And the, I was that like, coffee was fantastic, by the, the way. The second day, that coffee was fantastic at that little place right by well, where they yeah, I thought that first coffee was fantastic. That, like, both of those and, cafes and were I, awesome. if my, I could have a choice of going out and getting coffee at some shishi place or having my my personal barista make my coffee. And drinking it in the comfort of your own bed. Of course, everyone this would make that I decision. This is what I would choose because I know <laughs> what I'm going to get. I know I'm going to love it. And there's he, it's made with, L O V E is what we say in our house. It's like I'm down there. God damn, make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, yes. So we will be adding make it mini. Everyone video will be able only. to get in. Video only. No, video and kits. Video and kits, but yeah. that's meaning not a live. We can't. Not another can't live version. Kids, we live. have so many amazing things coming up. Like so many amazing classes. All right. If this hasn't refreshed, oh here, let's do this. But honestly, I think you can get away with it as far as it can. Maybe, maybe okay. they're they zoned out your conversation too. Did you? <laughs> they're just sitting there staring, <laughs> watching reels. I'm thinking about riding or. Oh, which brings me to the next topic. I said, "What are you doing Monday morning, Patrick?" I don't know. What's the weather? Because he, you know, he needs... It's my day off. To, he needs to get his groove on, which means he needs to go out and exercise. That's not what that means. I wish I wanted to exercise. But the idea of exercising makes me so sad. And then people go... It doesn't make her sad. It makes her angry. <laughs> it makes me... She doesn't get sad. She's like, I don't want to do that. And you know how people say it makes them feel so much better that you that you work out and are they, what are they called, the your endorphins? Is it endorphins that your endorphins get released and then you feel so good? No, I stay angry the whole time. <laughs> I'm angry that I'm I have to do this. I want to not be. I go angry. through. I go through. I, like it's. I was telling my son. It's like I go through. I bet your sewing projects are like this. Like you go down, and you start your sewing projects. You're like you motivate. You don't necessarily. Maybe you got something that you'd rather do, and then you go down and you start your sew, sewing project, and like for the first like fifteen or twenty minutes. Like, I, well, so most of my activities start with suffering, like a long hike across the desert or a march up a hill to climb or ski or so there's like 15 to 20 minutes of self-loathing. Really? For me. Wow. Where I'm like, I thought you what just the hell am I doing? Like, why am I here? I don't even want to be here right now. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought you just. I always. The I whole told. Thing. I told Kai like like because Kai was like, Kai, but I'm like, dude, it just feels so good to motivate because after that 15 to 20 minutes, after that 15 to 20 minutes, then then you get in the groove and you get in the flow, and then it's all pleasant. Sometimes I'm like that with sewing. I'm just like, that's what I'm saying. I want to go watch Shogun. I don't want to sew. We're watching Shogun right now. It's so good. I don't. And then I get down into my sewing room and I'm so into it and I just want to keep going. So, um, I my so my endorphins get released from like crafting and sewing and hanging out with my friends and eating good food. That's what. You're dehydrated. Patrick. Why do you have to say that right now? I'm just realizing. I'm just, you need to drink water today. It's important. Can you, you're, because you're looking at me going, your skin is dry and your lips look bad. Why don't you just say that? That's no, what you could have said. No, that's not what I was saying And can saying you say that? All. Can we talk about my skin and my lips after? I'm not, I'm just. Can you just stop? You're just, just zip it. It's making me <laughs> mad now. Look it. I'm it's, not, this is not fine. why I was saying it. It looks fine. No, that's not why I'm saying it. Just stop and stop I'm not, staring I'm not, at I'm me. I'm not saying anything more. You, I'm just. Okay. 
Okay, sorry you had to see that. All right. So this comes to the next topic. On Monday, I'm going to do a sew along and I'm going to do, and you can join me because it'll just be like a live feed. A lot of times I haven't done a sew along in a long time because, um, you, you know, haven't I was, been up for it. I haven't been up for it. I was working on getting healthy. So um, I am going to be working on, and most likely, and I talked about this yesterday, and I, I, I was asking Patrick what time I should start. I think I want to start at like nine o'clock because We'll probably be prepping all day until from 9 until 9 p.m. I don't think I can do that. But um, the bad thing about doing a sew along is I can't. Like if I'm doing a recorded video and I mess up, I like, go, oh, OK. And I hit pause and I'm like, oh, my God, what just happened here? And I try and fix it and then we can record and like splice and dice for the um, when we do the the live sew alongs. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. And um, I'm just going to be prepping. My plan is to prep quilting through the seasons. So, Because I, I just need to set aside, aside that time. Now I've set it, so now I'm accountable to you. And if you want to join and work on anything else, you're welcome to work on anything else. It'll just so be... we don't necessarily have a planned time for this, right? Yeah. But well, you want to do it on the earlier side. Yeah, well, because I asked Patrick, I'm like, well, what's your plan? Like, are you going to be... Um, are you going to be going out for the whole day? Are you like, we, we did make an agreement. I get half a day, at least one of the days. Cause you know what he does? He takes the days, both days. And then, then I get the evenings and I'm tired. I'm sleepy and I want to watch Shogun. <laughs> and then nothing gets done. My best time now that I've gotten older is like the beginning of the day again. And that's Patrick takes it. Cause he needs the sun. Right. But I go out like super early in the morning and walk the dogs long distances and oh. do all that too. So let's not, let's not okay. talk about me. Like I'm not doing my end of the bargain. Somebody wakes up to coffee on their nightstand and dogs that have been walked six miles. Okay. But you know what happens? The dogs come back and they don't care. They're like, next, what are we doing? So we're going to talk about you get what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> the sew along that I'm going to be doing is free. A lot of the content that I do is free. And I'm doing the project anyway, so I'm like, oh, let me just stitch it out and then I can share it with you. And I, I love doing that. Um, the dogs will probably be with me. And do you, you know how I'm always like, oh my goodness, they just start barking. They're jumping at me. They're sitting on me. Next thing I know, I'm trying to stitch and a head comes up here. <laughs> so um, so I think, I, I mean, most likely when I do this so along, I might have the dogs too. And uh, I just feel so bad because I wanted to be professional. Like I know a lot of people uh, watch other content creators, sewing content creators, and I'll watch them too. Somebody will bring it up and they'll be like, oh, so-and-so is so great. And I'm like, oh, let me check it out. And I watch it and I'm like, wow. Their room's super clean and they're so professional. <laughs> and I do my videos and the dogs are barking. Patrick's coming in, slamming the door. We're doing laundry. Kids are there. So, and then I make a mistake. And I like it when people are watching Irene Burkholder. You're really good at making sure I don't make mistakes. Sometimes I forget stuff and Irene's there for me. So, um... So just understand, like, you know, it's just, it's not really a, an instructional thing. It's so thing. long, fun time. Yeah. It's just girls and, and guys free. just stitching together. It's just us, like, just spending time together sewing. And hopefully I can, you know, share something with you that might help you in your sewing. Or you can share something with me. So just want to talk about that because, you know, I don't just don't want you to be like, God, this woman's crazy and look at her dogs are crazy that and her hat crazy. that woman's crazy yes so um okay. okay with that. don't go professional i want to like i see them and they have the, the front video the side video their room so like they have like a studio and I, i'm struggling to show you only the areas that are clean in my sewing room which i'm work i gotta work on that too all right Remember when we bought the store, and I can't remember who it was, but she was in complaining about how the store was becoming too corporate, too professional. <laughs> Did we have somebody say that? She's like, I just don't like it. Me. 
Like, we are not. Yeah, it'll like, never I'm be. I'm like, okay, all right, sure. We get it. We get it done. It'll never be like. Really, I can't even imagine that. We've never been. We're we're fly by the seat of our pants. A one vacuum and sewing. So, um, uh, oh. I ordered more rope. Can you believe that? So remember I told you the Kimberbell rope wasn't going to be here until May. Um, I went on yesterday and it was there. And so I ordered a whole bunch. So if you do have rope orders, I'll be able to fulfill those now. We ran out of the pouches. I'll have more of those today too. So uh, today's going to, yesterday we were putting the orders together. Today will be a day of like sending it out. Yeah, I mean, there is a ton of shipping happening right now. Like 80 80 plus packages a day kind of thing. Um, oh, I wanted to talk about this. We are also like, there are like little things missing from the brother order, like eight by eight hoops. So we got like 90% of everything. I'm missing some flash frames and I'm missing eight by eight hoops. We're missing um, other stuff. But there is a ton of stuff here so quite frankly it's better for us if we can separate those orders and just ship what we've yeah. got and so i am reaching out to people to kind of say hey you know we don't have an expected date and we'd love to just get this done and send it off to you so we will be reaching out to get that taken care of um and uh and so that is you know part of what we're doing um, we haven't said it for a while. Like if you're watching and you're new and you haven't taken the time to do so, please subscribe, like, and share the channel. Uh, hit that little bell icon. You'll be notified when, uh, when I, we do start live know, streams and so on. Am I subscribed? I don't even know if I'm subscribed. And I don't even know. The only time I try to subscribe and like, I, I hit the dislike button on my, on our site on it, she video. wasn't trying to even subscribe she's like i was experimenting she's like i'm gonna like it and then she's like oh my god i disliked it <laughs> i hit the wrong button and then i'm like hit it again and it'll yeah did you know it. you could do that that if you accidentally dislike something you can hit it again and that takes away the dislike because i didn't know that i was like oh no now i, I think i reached my out to joanne yesterday i think Joanne, um, I, I have three of the four things on your brother order, so we'll put that together. We have no, I think of, it's together and like kind of ready to go. Three of the four and things. I, I we just didn't. We just didn't have your thread stand. I think Joanne was at least on my list of people to. Reach out if to. you're local, they are doing a Reno fashion show and they're looking for models. Yeah, so there's a casting call. <laughs> I mean, do you know Patrick and I used to shoe model and then Patrick got me fired? <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> okay, here's the here's the casting call. And uh and um male and female models ages thirteen plus. Oh, that's right. Yes, that's I reached out about a machine. Oh, okay. And um uh, what was I going to say about this? They said they particularly need male models. So if anyone here in Reno is interested, and we're just hanging this up in the front of, too. Uh, Zoolander. Zoolander. Blue Steel. If you've got Blue Steel going on, go ahead and reach out to them. Okay. Um, I did want to also mention to you, if you're taking a class, Look at your supply list when you get it. The supply lists are attached to your email. You should get an invitation. When you take a class, we put your name in and it automatically sends you that email. And if you don't get an invitation, then let us know because, I don't know, sometimes maybe I miss something. I'm so paranoid about that. But uh, look at your supply list. I was looking at some orders, like people ordered, uh, and I bumped it to the top. People ordered the kits for June and July. And I was like, should I send it to you now? Or should I just wait until, because you're not gonna need it until like June or July. So, and you're repeat offenders. A lot of you are repeat ordering offenders. And I, if I can combine it, I like combining it. Um, so I might not, like some of that stuff, if it's like two or three months out, I might not send it right away. I might wait until until you have another order and then I'll pop it all together. And then don't look at me like that, Patrick. Look at you like what? You keep accusing me. Like my skin me. is dry and I'm creating I'm more not, work. That's, 
that like that. Um, do we have anything else to talk about? This this class is going to be, we're doing two sessions of this. There's the Stellar and Alter. This is our introductory class to IQ Designer. And um, this is working with an image, applying line properties, fill properties. Uh, and then this isn't a finished one. We add the stippling. So we show you how to quilt this after you've done the embroidery, how to add the quilting which is, I think, what a lot of people want to learn. So that is, um, that's coming up. I think we have a session. To, is today Thursday? Today Tomorrow. Thursday. And then there's another session that's going to be next week. So there's two different se sessions that are coming up. Anything else you can think of? Any questions? Uh, you know, last but not least, we are probably two weeks out on service right now. I think you know the reality is we're just going to be hovering between two to three weeks so like every now and then somebody says well i'm gonna wait till you're less than a week and that's just i don't think it's realistic anymore oh yeah don't wait uh so michelle asked about the binding class and the pillow class um yeah you just you could just use whole cloth meaning just like fabric that's cut we make it 16 inch pillow or you could embroider something or if you've had something sitting there maybe you embroidered something and you didn't know what to do with it turn it into a pillow so uh there is no criteria for that you're just choosing whatever you want to do whatever the binding project i think we do 12 inch sandwiches but if you have something that's a little bit bigger i don't want you to show up and be like i'm binding my king size quilt today no we're not doing that uh, well, you could do that later in your own time. But um, if you have something, it doesn't have, if you have this, you could go ahead and do the binding on this. And I was looking at this. Look how cute she did that. I was like, is that scallop? Look at her, um, her right, decorative stitch. To work. Isn't that so Bye. beautiful that she put her binding on with? I was like, oh my God, that looks like, it looks, it looks to me like vintage lace. So whatever you want to do in the serger class, it's pretty loosey goosey. Uh, you can, whatever you want whatever just read the supply list and it'll tell you what you need if you do want to do an embroidered pillow just do it beforehand like i have this that i still haven't finished i could turn i could turn this into a pillow just grab the backing make the piping maybe we'll do that maybe i'll just turn this into a little pillow won't that be cute with the zipper so um because i ha still haven't done january and uh, I think I'm going to do that. So whatever works. All right. We're going to get going. Busy day here. If you have fallen into the abyss of my emails, which was like at the very end of the week and the beginning uh, and the weekend, uh, just send me another email. And um, I think that's it. Have a great day.